Pneumonia is an acute respiratory infection characterized by inflammation and infection within alveoli, causing them to fill with fluid or purulent material. Symptoms include a productive cough, fever, chills, and shortness of breath. Severity can vary from mild to life-threatening, particularly in vulnerable populations like infants, the elderly, and those with chronic illnesses or compromised immune systems. Pneumonia can be caused by bacteria, viruses, or fungi. Common bacterial infections include streptococcus pneumonia and mycoplasma pneumonia. Several viruses can cause pneumonia, such as rhinovirus, influenza, COVID-19, and respiratory syncytial virus, commonly called RSV. Fungi can also cause pneumonia, especially in individuals with weakened immune systems. Pneumonia is classified according to the causative microorganism and the location where the individual developed the infection. This classification affects the medical treatment plan and prescription of medications. Classifications include community-acquired pneumonia, hospital-acquired pneumonia, ventilator-associated pneumonia, and aspiration pneumonia. Aspiration pneumonia occurs when substances like food, medications, or beverages are inhaled into the lungs instead of being swallowed. Risk factors for aspiration pneumonia include dyspagia or an impaired gag reflex due to stroke, brain injury, oversedation by medications, or excessive alcohol or drug use. Diagnosis of pneumonia is typically made by chest X-ray that shows fluid or inflammation in the lungs. Sputum cultures may be used to identify the specific microorganism. Testing for severe cases may include arterial blood gas, CT scan, and pleural fluid culture. Treatment for pneumonia depends upon the cause and may include antibiotic, antiviral, or antifungal medication. Supplemental therapies may include bronchodilators, corticosteroids to reduce inflammation, and antipyretics for fever management. Preventative measures such as influenza and pneumococcal vaccinations are also recommended. Nursing interventions focus on maintaining an effective airway with oxygen saturation levels above 92% and managing symptoms like dyspnea and fever. Nurses also monitor for potential complications, including worsening respiratory status and signs of systemic infection. Nurses continually assess and adjust care plans as necessary to meet goals and expected outcomes.